is the great future Hall of Famer, future first ballot Hall of Famer, top five all-time quarterback in NFL history, in my opinion, Drew Brees. Drew, great to see you. You too. How, how do you deal with, like, okay, like, idiots like me, okay, who are, like, maybe Trust question. Me. It's not easy to deal <laughs> with idiots like him. <laughs> but, like, you know, hey, listen, I, you know, I, I question where you're at in your career sometimes and things like that. Like, how do you block out noise? You know, I mean, it's my job. I hope you always know I have great respect for you and things yeah. like that. But how do you, how do you deal with that? I, I'm really interested in your mindset there. Well, do you block it out or do you I, read stuff? No, How, I don't. I don't. I don't read any of it. You I don't. don't listen to any of it. I don't believe any of it. Good. If I do hear it, right? Because um, it, it really doesn't matter. I mean, for me, I I am already fueled and motivated enough, right? You are. I mean, right. I got the I got the list. I got the chip on my shoulder. Always will. Yeah. I, got, I I'm always out to prove something. Right. And I, it's just the way I'm wired. Yeah. Um, I feel like maybe that's the way I've had to approach my whole career from the very beginning. Yeah. True. Um. But listen, man, I, I love I love what I do. I, I, I love know. the game, and so, um, you know, the, the the preparation and the grind and all those things. Those are things you, you kind of look forward to. You know, I mean, here we are. The season's still somewhat fresh. I mean, it's not even over yet, right? We still have the Super Bowl to be played. But right. um, we were just talking about it a little bit. Like I'm in this dad mode a little bit now. You Daddy know, right? daycare, like I'm, he said. I'm getting back. I'm getting <laughs> back into the house. You know, trying not to throw off mom's routine. Right, but, right. You know, coaching ball and doing all that stuff right. which is great. I mean, you need that time. Like. I'm, I'm going to be away from football here for a bit, just relaxing and spending time with family. We're yeah, going to have good. plenty more with Drew Brees here from Miami when PFT Live continues right after this. There he is, Drew Brees, future Hall of Famer and longtime member of the New Orleans Saints. It's amazing how many people forget you actually played for the Chargers. <laughs> but when, when, yeah, yeah, he played I for the Chargers. No, he didn't. Yeah, yes, I he played it. for the Chargers. <laughs> Chargers for five years. Five years, yeah. And Saints for... 14? Just finished 14. My yes. God. I, I saw it in action in, in San Diego. I was a backup for the Bucks one year, 2004, 04, I believe, yeah. right? 04, yeah, yeah, you and LaDainian just diced us up. I was like, whoa, they're another level. You know what I want to ask you? Do you know how many ticks you have on the field? Like, oh, you yes. are the tick yes. king yes. of football. I thought you were talking about the bug. No, no, he's not the dick. You're the yeah. one with the bug, okay? Coughing yeah. over here. But you with the... I know, uh, I'm adjusting uh, the pads. Uh, I'm oh. licking the fingers. And, and shoulder yeah. shake. I got you I down. I, I got you down. You're yeah. unbelievable. Here's the thing. I right. feel like it's gotten worse. <laughs> it, and and I, I, I'd say, like, within the last four or five years, I've really started to recognize it. Like, God, why do I do that so much? I don't even realize I'm doing <laughs> right. it. Right. But, yeah, I've just got all these crazy ticks. Yeah, you know, there's a few quarterbacks that do. Like, yeah. Rodgers has a shoulder shimmy he does every time. You know, Peyton used to, like, always do, like, you know, this and, like, pull up his thigh pad. So yeah. I'm, like, crazy like that, and I look at it. Right. I get you, a kick you, out of it. you got all these down? I got it. I do it on social these, media these every now and then. I do. Yeah. I do impersonations. Well, and Dak right. Prescott just told you the other day that, yeah. that the, the Dak dance is, is an offshoot of, of what He's Drew learned Brees. from watching you. Oh, did, yeah. da, did Dak? Uh, he, he, he said uh, it's all you. I mean, Dak Prescott, Jake Fromm from Georgia sure. yesterday. I talked to them. They all, when people talk about mechanics and doing those things, they always talk about you. And where where do you get it from? Who teaches you? Where do you? How do you stay on top of yourself? You guys have probably heard the name Tom House. Sure. Right? So sure. Tom House is one of my great mentors, a guy who I've worked with for shoot 15 years now, or, right, or longer, and. Uh, I seek his advice and wisdom and tutelage every offseason. You know, we get together and spend a lot of time together. And right. I think at this stage in my career, too, um, mechanics become so important, right? Because I, I can't afford to waste an ounce of anything, right? I've got to maximize. So, i got to maximize. I've got to be so right. efficient. And so um, I do pay a lot of attention to mechanics. And I do a lot of stuff just to get the body warmed up. Sure. It involves a lot of those movements, right? right, that, right. that go into throwing a football. Right. Yeah, you know, we have seen man. plenty of quarterbacks over the years who, when they get closer and closer to the natural end, they, they talk openly about retirement because, you know, we look at it skeptically and say, they just want a little attention. They're really not going to retire. They just want to talk about it, and they want people to talk about it, and they want people <coughs> to beg them to play. I feel like with you, that's not the case. No. You're not, that's not your game. That's not what you're doing. You are seriously, seriously thinking about whether or not to come back next year. Yeah, uh, I'm... And, and I told, listen, I, I've had a process, you know, each and every offseason. Um, I mean, listen, let, let's go back to 2014, 15, 16 with the Saints. You know, those were tough years, right? Um, and to give a little history there, there was kind of a shift, shift with our team, our locker room after the 13 season. You know, we had four out of five years going to the playoffs, right. you know, really making a run at it, and right. we lost a ton of veteran leadership on the on on that after that 13 season. Right. So, 
you know, I felt like there was a shift, I think, in our locker room and a lot of things. And 14, 15, 16 were tough years to the point where, you know, we weren't, we weren't having successful seasons. We weren't going to the playoffs. And I thought, you know what, maybe, maybe it's time at this point that I walk away. You know, maybe this game has passed me by. Maybe, maybe it's time. And so I went into the 17 season saying, you know what, this is probably going to be, this might be my last year. Wow. If we have another year like we just had, then this may be my last year. And, man, things shifted. Um, we had a great locker room. We had a great year. Great and, and, year. and I, could see, I could see us kind of rebuilding the foundation of the culture by which I knew we could be successful. But it was also at that moment where I just said, listen, I'm, I'm going to play each year one year at a time. Like one year, because each year may be my last. And I truly want to enjoy it as much as I can. And I tell you, I've had more fun playing football the last three years than I've ever had. And, and arguably been able to play some of my best football at the same time, yeah, too. And right. we've had a ton, ton of success as a team. So I've just taken that approach. And I don't, I don't want to take it for granted. I also don't want to just kind of jump to conclusions. So, man, this season ends and it's like, all right, I'm, I'm going to take a deep breath here. I'm going to um, just enjoy some time with my family. And I'm not going to make any decisions. I'm going to give it a little while here and let everybody know where I'm at in a few, in a few weeks. Yeah, good for you. You should. You, I mean, you, you certainly deserve to do that, man. I mean, it's been awesome to watch. And, like, I'm, I'm always fascinated by you and, like, Sean Payton, just the combination. Like, for you, what is it that makes Sean – Amazing, because he talked about you the other day. Like, what is the one thing where you just go, this is why he is Sean Payton? Uh, You're both psychos, so that fits well. <laughs> right. right. Sean, Sean has a great way of uh, blo- taking all the noise and all the distraction and all the stuff that's happening um, outside the building and maybe even inside the building at times and just narrowing it down to a very singular focus. Right. Like, guys, this is what it's going to take to win this game, right? And this is this. These are the positions I'm going to put you in to do it, right? I think he's he's a great teacher. Yeah. Um, he 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 has he has a gr- you know he spent a lot of time with Parcells, right? And so sure. there's a lot of Parcellisms, you know, in, 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 in the right. way that he coaches. Right. And yet, I think he does it at times in a humorous way, a fun way, maybe a little bit more of the new age. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. Than Not the so old school. Face and yet, like- it's it, it's. That, that part's in him as well, you right. know, so I think he's a great blend of both. He's a tough but fair coach. Always open door policy. Yeah. If you want to know where you stand on the team, you can go knock on Sean Payton's door and right. he will be honest with you and he will tell you. Yeah. Um, and he's, he's highly competitive. He's highly aggressive. Yeah. You know, as a play caller and right. just as an offensive mind. And... Uh, it, it makes a lot of fun for, for a quarterback. Yeah, sure. High, high level of expectation, right. but we work well together. Yeah. Has do. he given you that same kind of direct message and understanding of what 2020 would be like if you choose to come back? Because it's hard not to feel that they want to use Taysom Hill more. The, the impact he had in the playoff game, he was incredible, but there's only one guy that can take the snap, and I feel like at some level they maybe want to use him more, but I definitely believe they want you to come back. But have you gotten an impression from Sean on on what the division of labor would be if you're there and Taysom Hills? Yeah, no, we 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 haven't we haven't gotten that far. Um, but I'll be the first one to sit here and tell you that if, if if I'm back and and Taysom's there alongside me, call the plays that are going to put us in the best position to win. Right. And if that means Taysom Hill is taking 30 snaps a game, <laughs> 25 snaps a game, then so be it. Yeah. I'm all for that. Number one because. I know what type of player he is, and I know right. the impact he can have. Right. And I think that you gave the example of the Vikings game. It was unbelievable. Yeah. The guy pretty much took the game over. Right. 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 Um, he's he's blocking a power play, and then he's throwing a touch. You know, darn near throwing a touchdown on the next play, it's and insane. then catching one here at some. It's it's unreal what he can do. There's nobody like him. He's a unicorn. But um, he's a great guy too. Guys on the team love him. Um, and so uh, listen, whatever it takes to win, but. If that means Sharon snaps to Taysom Hill, then so be it. And, and I know he wants you to come back. I mean, you would think he's thinking, hey, it's my time. I'm ready to step onto the stage. Give me the ball. I know he wants you to come back. Who's that? Taysom. Taysom? Yeah. yeah. He's one of my best friends on the yeah. team. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. So we've got a great relationship. You, you like, and I'm, we're going to hit Smoothie King here in a minute because that year I want a protein shake, okay? But, like, either way, <laughs> I want to know, like, do you feel, like, a little cursed over the last few years? I mean, just absolutely amazing. I mean, whether it's the Minneapolis Miracle – the debacle in the championship game. And then this year, another curse where you guys weren't even on the field. 
I mean, that was pass interference by the 49ers. And then, and then, or the push off. You were on the field for that. <laughs> you had two like crazy things happen because yeah, you could have yeah. very easily had that first round bye. I mean, how do you digest that? Um, well, you can only worry about the things you can control. Yeah, see, that's why you're Drew Brees. I'd be like still pulling my hair out. That's why I'm not, that's why I'm sitting over yeah. here. I mean, yeah. listen, there, there were, there were things. I mean, you could look at all those games, but, but especially the last two. Yeah. There's, there's things that happened in those games prior to that, 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 that it, had we, had we done a little bit better, you know, it never would have, right. You know, ended up with that. Right. Now it's still very unfortunate. Yeah. Right. It's very unfortunate, but. Uh, we don't control that. Did you, so did you like, when, when did the pit out of your stomach leave after last year's NFC Championship game? Like, I only played one playoff game in my life, and it took me, like, three weeks no, to wake up. No, you're still not over it. You're still not over it 15 years later. I feel like we're the better team, and I'm sure you felt like that way last year, too. When did it finally, like, you finally get over it? That was it? Redskins game, wasn't it? You're right. Yeah. You remember that? I remember it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy the recall. You right, know, I know. Football, right? I, uh, it um, is. No, I, uh, I was, it was by far the worst loss of my career right? in, in, in the way that I felt after because there's such a finality to it. Yeah. You know, something like that happens during the season, and it's, it's man, on to the next opponent, March on, right? right. You, but, man, it's like just right now it's done. It's over, and especially with the expectation level of, of where we're going and, and what we felt like we, we could accomplish. Um, so, yeah, that was, that was crushing. Yeah, I know. Crushing. All yeah. right, come on, pitch man. Let me hear it. King. <laughs> King. Let's do it. Well, well, where's the, uh, do you want the high protein coffee almond mocha smoothie or would you like the uh, immune builder? Ooh, um, he needs the immune builder. I have no spleen. You're going to work in some long day. Oh, that's right. I have no spleen. <laughs> right, right, right. Yes. Yeah, so right. I, 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 I remember that one too. You do remember yeah, that, remember too. that one right. too. Right. Yeah. 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 I know. I was so disappointed in 2006 because you came to the Saints and I was the starter in Tampa and got hurt that year. And I was looking so forward to, oh my gosh, I'm going to play against Drew Brees and all of these things. And uh, yeah, it didn't happen. But yeah, I want the immune builder. We need, we need the immune builder? Yeah. yeah. No. So uh, Smoothie King's part of part of my uh, my season and off season routine. I yeah. love taking the boys there, but um, fitness, plenty of fitness and wellness blends. It's they've been a great partner too um, with some of our youth sports programs and our foundation. So um, Smoothie King's a great, been a great partner. Yeah, yeah. Chris I've, is uh, doing Chris is doing his best to get his own sponsors. He he is going over is the top with. I'm not. The I'm not yes, he is. Yes, I, you are. I mean, All I right. go over the top because like Smoothie King probably Here paid him a lot of money, and I just want to give them the so due your, diligence. So is your pitch going to be? I, I uh, Chris Sims here. I don't have a spleen, <laughs> but Smoothie King keeps me. Keep Keeps me, me from getting sick uh-huh. and getting herpes on my lips and all those <laughs> Oh, things. God, here we go. <laughs> hey, hey, Drew, uh, who you like in the game? Who you like in the game? Um, man, this is tough. Um, well, I didn't play the Chiefs. We played the Niners. Um, I think the Niners are the, one of the most complete teams out there. Um, but I love the playmaking ability of Patrick Mahomes and right? offense. So, um, I don't know. I just want a high-scoring game. Yeah, you... You, the Niners, who was the guy that, like, we've had a lot of players go, like, oh, Bose is the guy. But who was the guy, like, you were game planning for them where you were just like, holy cow, is he disruptive? He's unbelievable. Well, Bose is a stud, but their whole front four, and then they got, they got substitutes that are coming in right? and, and getting sacked. Right. So I just remember turning on the film, getting ready for the guy, these guys, just like, I mean, usually you have one or two guys that are like, all right, we're going to chip here, we're going to be a double team here, we're going to do this, and you're just like, just get the ball out. Yeah, right, <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? I yeah. mean, yeah, they, they got a bunch of studs. You tore them up, man. I mean, that was their worst performance of the year, really. You and your all-go special touchdowns and all that. You <laughs> so, so 49ers killed. are Chiefs. I missed wrinkles. it. Who you got? Who you got? <laughs> um, I want I want, uh, I want want Andy Reid to get a ring. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go Chiefs. Yeah. yeah, I hear you. That's good. That's yep. good. Sean did a great job of just completely oh, avoiding the, the question. Turned it on to color rush uniforms. Yeah. Or, oh, I mean, he just he did everything he could well, to avoid picking a winner. Well, here's the thing. We're playing both these teams next year, uh, the Saints. So uh, yeah, I, right. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to give just any, wait, add wait, any. Wait, uh, You just announced oh, your decision. He's coming he back, He's coming back, baby. We're playing. We're not playing the Saints. We're playing. Once a Saint, always a Saint. So I can say we, right? Okay, okay. Good, we, very well played. Well played. Yeah. Well, hey, you know, we wish you the best whatever you decide, Drew. You, you'll make the right decision for you and your family. And we, we're, we have a feeling we're going to see you one way or the other, either with a helmet on or with a helmet off. Drew Brees isn't going anywhere. But uh, if it brings you back to the football field, we would love to see another year of Drew Brees with the New Orleans Saints. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. You're the All man, right. Drew. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.